Welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, I want to show you how to import uh, an Illustrator file. So maybe you have you have a file that's a .ai file extension, a file created in Adobe Illustrator, but you want to work on it or change it or edit it in Inkscape. Not a problem because Inkscape can import Illustrator files. So as long as it's not too complex, uh, there's not, usually not a problem. So I found this file here that's on pixabay.com. It's a simple illustration of an ice cream cone. And uh, this is by user Alma in progress. They've released it under Creative Commons Zero, so free for commercial use, no attribution required. We really appreciate them sharing this with us. And we can actually download the original Illustrator file that they used to create this. So I already downloaded it. Go ahead and click Download under the Illustrator file, not under an image. But make sure you get the vector graphic. And then I have that saved on my computer right here in my Downloads folder. And if I try and open it, I don't have any I don't have Illustrator installed on my computer, so I can't open it in Illustrator, but I can just drag and drop it into Inkscape or I can also go file import and we see we have if we go to the file type, we have all these different options for different files that are supported by Inkscape to import. Uh, some of them are like we got some pretty cool ones actually here, so all kinds of different uh, file formats, but we find the one here that is Adobe Illustrator. So there's two. We've got um, Adobe Illustrator SVG and Adobe Illustrator 8.0 and below. I'm not sure what this is, so I'm not going to import it this way. I'm just going to drag and drop it in, and it'll automatically detect what it is. And it brings up this dialog. We'll just keep all the settings the same and hit OK. And now we have this ice cream cone here in Inkscape. We can resize it. And we can click the plus sign to zoom in on it. If we want to change, so we can see if it has different layers, we go to layers and see. So there's no layer information, so it's probably all just on one layer. We can ungroup here by hitting Control Shift G. And now we have this the ice cream, the three scoops are separated from the cone, and the cone is separated from itself. So that's kind of cool. And these we can probably ungroup too. Control Shift G. And now we see we have uh, Control Shift G, do it again. So now we have three separate uh, ice cream scoops, and we can change. Maybe we just want to be like, you know what? We love this vector graphic, but we, we'd rather we had like a light blue ice cream, and we'd rather this one was like more of a purpley color, and we want the top one to be like a red. So we're like, cool, there, no problem. And then we can regroup, or we can be like, yeah, we wish the purple was like off to the side like this, so it was sort of like created this look. So we can change it however we want because we have this original source file, which is awesome. And maybe the cone, we want to apply a different texture or we want to change the color of it to make it like a darker, I don't know, whatever we want to do. But we can do it because we've got the source file and we can read the uh, Adobe Illustrator files in Inkscape. Uh, yeah, so I hope you found this video informative. Check it out actually, Control D. We can even add an additional scoop if we wanted to on here. So we can be like, yeah, boom. And then bring the glow up to the top level. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Uh, you, you get the idea. And you can find lots of source files if you're curious on Pixabay. These are all, I just searched, I actually searched for Adobe Illustrator files, but under vector graphics, you can just search for whatever you want. Um, and it'll, it'll find all kinds of files that you can download and actually bring into Inkscape and edit change colors or have a lot more control than you would off of just a, a regular picture. This would be a cool one to play with. And again, we can just see this is a vector graphic, so it has a transparent background. We can change the color of the paint to blue fairly easy in Inkscape uh, using this method. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Check out some of my other tutorials, and I'll catch you in the next video.